Okay, so I'm coming to you with another video. I'm just trying to get a few videos out of the way today. Um, this is the drawing of a web that I did uh, last year sometime on my son's Spider-Man room. Um, and I had a few people asking me how did I do it. So I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, so first I did get some yarn. Just some regular yarn that I got or picked up from Walmart. Um, and some painter's tape. So the first thing I did was I measured my wall all the way um, across and I figured out my center point. Once I got my center point, um, you have to do a little bit of calculation. Um, so you have to figure out the distance between each section. Um, so basically how many lines that you would get from it. So once I figured that out, the first thing I did was started in the middle. Um, so I got my center point, figured out how far the lines would be and then I made my V so basically if my center was right here it'll be equal distance from the center to this first line and from the center to this other line which would make my V um, so once I did that I measured out all my other lines um, and then I had some painters tape and I outlined my lines now you can have it as thick as you want or as thin as you want I kind of just estimated how thick I wanted it um I think I kind of used the painter's tape that I had this one is a thinner one so I had a, a wider um painter's tape and I actually used that with as a guide to uh how much or how wide I would want my lines um so I put my tape up um on either side of course and I painted that now the tricky part is the um the little webs so this part. Um, so what I did, <laughs> this is unconventional, but this is how I did it. If you have a different way of doing it or easier way, you know, that's great. But this is what worked for me and this because this is all I knew how to do it. The tape would, would have been too straight um, and it doesn't bend. So I needed something that was bendable. So what I did was um, I cut a piece of the distance between the two and because this has like um it sags or it dips down like this as you can see like for um like how the web would slant down so that's exactly how I, what i did um so let's say i cut a piece all right so maybe i cut a piece like this yeah not too long and then what I did was I just put it if you can see let me make you let me see if I can bring it a little closer so I basically just put it here and here and I put a piece of tape on it and it kind of just kind of sagged and then I did it to the top as well. So there will be one piece here and then one piece here. So I'll get a piece of, I'll tape it on the wall so you can see what I'm talking about. Just to give you an example and I'll I'll get a close up so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I said, this is what worked for me. So, I don't know if you can, I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. But that's what I did. Um, so this is for the top and then I did one for the bottom and I literally just got a paintbrush and just paint in between. Um, I just hand, just hand painted it. Um, if I went outside of the lines, then I would just go back and, um, like touch it up or whatever. But I use like a little painter's brush and that's how I did it. I did it for every single one. And that was the method that I used. 
um thank you for watching and as always if you have any questions or comments please put them down below and if you like it please hit like um and thank you again for watching